Be fish. No LeBron James. No D'Lo. No AD. No problem. What do you think of this Laker win on the road? Third game of road trip. Second night of a back-to-back. -back, gut check time. A game that people said was a must-win, and they got it. Yeah, I mean, I think it, for me, it just confirms what we all should understand about you know elite athletes and and people that care about what they do. Like when when it really comes down to it, and you have to figure out a way to get it done. Most of the time you will, and that's what the guys did against OKC. Uh, I think each of them knew that they would have to be the guy to not let go of the rope, like Darvin Ham said in this in this conference, and they wanted to get the W. They got it done. I liked what you said in the post game show about, you know, there were nights where you knew you didn't have to be great to win. You knew you had Jack or a Kobe on your team, guys like that. But there are nights where collectively you know you have to play well this team to win it just seemed like the guys felt that way and they played that way there is a difference you know that the amount of volume and usage that normally with LeBron Anthony Davis D'Angelo Russell all of that opportunity is going to be out there and some of that is coming your way you do not want to be the guy that looks yeah. like he can't handle that responsibility uh, so I just think mentally sometimes you're a little more focused than maybe what you normally would be um, and the guys just responded well. Uh, a good team win on both ends of the floor. Some really good defensive plays. Guys rebounding, getting after the basketball. Good quality win. With no D, though, it means Austin Reeves has the basketball in his hands more, especially no LeBron as well. He becomes kind of that second primary ball handler, point guard for that backup unit. He's in the closing lineup. How impressed have you been with his play? Yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Like, for, with Austin, it's it's almost like we already have Austin Reeves fatigue. <laughs> you know, like we talk about with LeBron yeah. and, you know, Jokic sometimes gets thrown. Like we just, you know, Giannis, we expect these guys to be yeah. great. And with, with Austin, it's weird. Like we, we kind of almost aren't surprised or impressed necessarily when he just does really good things on the floor. Uh, probably a bad thing because we, we, we should feel impressed yeah. by what this young guy's doing. He, he seems to have an old soul. Uh, one of the few guys that played college basketball for four years. And uh, so he's more experienced than, than we probably give him credit for. But uh, just really, really solid. The type of guy that you would want on your team. And his teammates respect the heck out of him. His coaches trust him. And that you win with guys like Austin. Is it nice to have playoff mode sometimes early? For sure. Because you guys used to kind of cruise sometimes until April. And then you had to turn it on. But you're always in a different spot. But for these guys, that mentality that every night is, is a must win, it's kind of a nice thing to go in with. Yeah, no, it is. that You're, you're getting playoff-like experience yeah. in the regular season. And the, those great teams that could cruise, it's because of the playoff experience. Yeah. And this group, which is new, so many new faces, it's really good for them to be in a lot of these must-win situations, big games, a lot of the guys speaking about it in their interviews. Uh, it's going to bind them together in a really good way and hopefully to pay off with some wins. D-Fish, drive home safe. Appreciate it.